<clears throat> Alright, so I don't know if you guys can see very well or not, but I'm gonna get some uh, some water here. I've got my little, I believe it's by Aquamir, a little bottle filter, and uh, you, know, you can just squeeze. So I'm gonna grab some of this. Pretty dehydrated. I'll go ahead and drink a liter while I'm here and uh, then fill it back up. Might make some coffee while I'm here. Doesn't look too bad, pretty clear. Alright guys, so I got my, I got a cup of coffee going, one full cup of water from this one, I got some water boiling on the stove here. And that's the Gnome from Mini Bowl Design, G-N-O-M-E, Gnome, and uh, one of my little spoons. Got some food for the day there with my coffee in there. So I had carrot sticks and uh, water so far. I'm gonna have some coffee and I'll get some breakfast going in a minute. It's just turned seven o'clock and I was out before six. So, 7 a.m. now and uh, it's coffee time. Probably put in a mile or two, maybe two and a half. Yeah, I think it's more like two, two and a half miles. I was out of water and I didn't, uh, didn't have enough for coffee and this and that, so I uh, decided to Keep going until it was time. I got some water over here. So if I need water, I can get it. I got water falling on me also. If you guys can hear that, I'm getting rained on big time. All right, there's my Osprey pack cover. It's not an Osprey pack, but it's the Osprey pack cover. I was telling you guys about the microfiber little towels. You guys ever see these? On Amazon, they're just called microfiber polyester towels. They're uh, little little sham wows, but these are indispensable out here. So it's a good tip to dry your tent out, any of that kind of stuff. Get this coffee going. So I keep a day's worth of food in a Ziploc, and it's not the whole day. I have uh, shared food that I can use, you know. To... Oh, I had a fruit bar also. These are called, uh, that's it. One apple, one mango, and this fruit bar. That's it. I guess that's the name of the company. That's it. Seriously, that's it. So these were at Whole Foods. Missy uh, said one of her students was eating them and they look pretty natural. I've been looking for really natural type things to have. So this is a good one. I always have my Dr. Bronner's. Little pouch of Dr. Bronner's. I've got one for about every two days or so. Got my King Oscar sardines for later. I'll eat those near a creek or somewhere where I can wash up. Stinky. So I've got Starbucks and uh, as Shug would call it, uh, Medigliadori coffee. A little espresso instant coffee. Medigliadori. Missy taught me how to pronounce that the correct way and I still can't. So, so I think I'll have the rest of the fruit bar, protein shake and coffee. I'm going to have the Starbucks Colombian Starbucks Colombian coffee today. Got that one open. Water's just about to boil. That's good.
This is the aqua mirror filter I showed you guys early. And it's uh it was sent to me by get Karen Karen.com. So it's come in handy. I tend to be able to use a lot of the stuff they send. I just pulled the cap and the rubber part off. Make it a little lightweight. Alright, that's coffee boys. We got it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have coffee. 713. Took a minute. Cheers guys. Hot. You want to find a really nice spot to go backpacking that'll kick your butt? Come up to Vermont and do the long trail. Most people do it about a month's time. Come up and do some sections, you know. It's uh, the big, like I said, the big little brother of the Appalachian Trail. It was the original long trail. I like my mess down here. Can you guys hear the rain? Ah, I'll be glad when that stops. <sighs> Cheers. Nice ambiance for coffee out here. So I went to bed cold and wet, and I'm up this morning cold and wet. That's the life of a hiker, backpacker, naturalist. You gotta get out in the, in the elements. It's not always fun.
No views today, boys. Nope. Not the McClouds. Storm clouds. All right, so I am soaking wet once again. It's not just a light drizzle, it's definitely a downpour. It just gets harder and then slackens up. Woo, I mean, it is wet. So, uh, start heading up this hill and it'll warm me up. I guess it's in the 60s right now. All right, so I filled my bottle up here. And, you know, I always have backup, but I always keep my backup in a, in an easy to get to place. So, this is my backup, the Aquamira water treatment. I think it's got like 200 liters worth of uh, treatment in it. And basically, you put seven drops of each for one liter of water. You know, this water's pretty good, so I'll put, you know, maybe uh, five. Put five drops each. And I don't recommend that to anyone else. You know, if you do less than the recommended uh, directions, then uh, it might not work for you. So don't listen to me on that count, but you know, I've hiked a lot of miles and, and it works for me. So unofficial tip there. So it turns a little bit of a, of a green color, like a lime green. And you just put it in there and you wait for a good 15, 20 minutes and you're good to go. So I give it a shake. And then I'll loosen the cap to wash out the cap a little bit. Put that away for later on down the trail. I see you. Looks like a grouse trying to lead me away from some babies. Shit. You guys get outside and go do something. There he is.